Sega. And more importantly, the guys that actually made the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I have not heard that Sega chime for a while. <laughs> All right. Hey, everybody. Time to get a little weird. So, this is a game that I tried playing when it first came out, and I was off foot by two things. And for timing wise, it's like this game came out. <clears throat> I think at the time where Mass Effect 1 and 2 were both out and 3 was on its way. So we were like right in the kind of the peak for a lot of people in that franchise. And there's some similarities. Like I think there's I think there was straight up like a dialogue wheel or a four-part dialogue choice map to the face buttons thing anyway. I remember specifically two things when I was younger. I got turned off by how dialogue had a time limit, which was kind of akin to what would happen like I think one year later in, in Walking Dead, basically. Although I think that I think Telltale was already doing that before that too, but um, it felt too fast, and I, I think I remember that in memory. And then I got into the combat, and I was like, "Is this a joke? Are you joking?" But I don't know. I uh, had similar reactions to uh, uh, Mass Effect, a game that I now hold dear to my heart. The first game, like it, I definitely bounced off at the first session. I played the Eden Prime level at the beginning and was like, "I don't like this." And I kind of just jump. I kind of just put the game down for about a month, and then when I, when I tried it again, I loved it. So maybe we'll have some feelings this time around too. It's also an Obsidian game, <clears throat> and in part, one of the reasons I'm coming back to it is that it is frequently, 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 heavily recommended over and over again as being like a really interesting game, especially when it comes to player choice and consequence. Actually doing something, as opposed to just kind of making you feel like you're clicking on things a lot, but not necessarily actively making things happen as a result. There we go. Do I have the access on? Controls. Okay, I have to turn the controller on, ma on manually. I was like, what's going on here, game? <laughs> Why aren't you responding to my controller? There we go. I'm playing it with a controller because then one of the number one things I've encountered is that you are frequently warned that you should not play the PC version with keyboard and mouse because it's a mess. It seems to have been made for a controller, and I am fine with that, I suppose. Uh, the other thing I've heard, there's a few things I've heard, is that it, it's short, but the choice stuff can be such a big deal between like your dialogue choices and how you solve missions and also what order you do the missions in that like it may very well warrant a second playthrough, so we'll see. I'm planting the seed here, but no promises. I still need to finish the game and know whether or not I really want to play it again and whether or not if it will feel worth it or if I don't want to touch it anymore or whatnot. But here we go, another Obsidian game. I know, I know, it feels like we're haunted by them. I, I don't know if I could accurately list all this, the, the Obsidian games I've played already, but it's like Pillars of Eternity 1, Tyranny, South Park, The Stick of Truth, um, Outer Wilds, Worlds, Wilds, wor fuck, wor Worlds, Outer Worlds, I hate those titles being that way, and uh, some day, with, probably within the next 365 days, I'll probably play KOTOR 2, because we just finished KOTOR the other day, so like, this, there's an endless torrent of Obsidian, both because they're probably the single most prolific, reasonably high budget RPG maker, that it exists anymore, because all of the other ones have been scoured from the earth. But also they have a long backlog of really love, beloved games. Uh, so whenever I look into the past and be like, oh, what, what should I pick from the classic RPGs? A significant percentage of that list seems to continually be populated by Obsidian. So let's go. This is a spy RPG, which, surprisingly, a very vacant genre. Hello. <clears throat> so we have classes, agent history, soldier. Decorated for service in the armed forces, your commanding officer felt that general infantry was a waste for your potential. Your natural language, talent, and quick wit caught the attention of recruiter for an agency that doesn't officially exist. Field agent. No stranger to covert operations, you've spent the last several years working for the U.S. State Department on overseas assignments. Capable of being charismatic presence at one moment, and an inconspicuous shadow the next. You're always the agent on location, never the one hiding behind a desk. Sounds stealthy? Tech Specialist. 
Having made a mockery of every aptitude test sent your way, it was no surprise that you finished your first PhD before you were legally allowed to buy alcohol. While the CIA initially hired you to design cutting-edge electronics, being cloistered in a lab proved unsatisfying and your superiors granted you a transfer to clandestine services. When your handler was asked to recommend an agent for a top-secret reassignment, your remarkable fieldwork and your natural grasp of technology made you the obvious choice. <clears throat> So I'm seeing shooty boy, stealthy boy, computer boy. Although that's a giant gun on his shoulder, so I don't know what his common gameplay does. Looks like freelancer. Fearless from birth, the only thought you ever that ever caused you an ounce of panic was the thought of a nine to five job. Oh my God, it's me. <laughs> I, I'm the freelancer, IRL. After a remarkable college career, you vanished off the radar to be known to the known world to make your fortune. Alright, not so much me. <laughs> According to your dossier, you've been a mercenary in Africa? Oh no. A bodyguard of the Sultan of Brunei, and on and off again paramour of a European princess, the holder of three patents in Great Britain. Well, the truth is somewhere in the middle. One thing is clear. Your skills caught the attention of some very important people in the espionage world. I don't uh I don't want to be the guy that's a mercenary for like PMCs in little pocket wars. That's just, 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 that's depressing. Recruit is for an additional challenge. Choosing this background opens up an additional recruit dialogue option during training. Though you've barely logged three months working for the Department of Justice, your ambition, drive, and aptitude caught the eye of a clandestine government agency. Your path will be difficult. With little experience and formal training, you'll have to rely on your wits while you learn the lessons in the field. I think the idea here might be that you... Hmm. Maybe it really is a challenge mode, although there are difficulty settings. Or maybe it just means you don't have a class, so you don't have any pre-existing skills, and you have to and you can create your character from the scratch. And then here's your new game plus class. You get additional veteran dialogue. You are the Leonardo da Vinci of clandestine warfare. A gifted marksman, a master of stealth, a tech-savvy engineer rolled into one. Alpha Protocol didn't didn't go looking for you. You went looking for them. Having saved the world once, why not save it again? So that's probably what I play if I do end up getting that second playthrough going. I'm curious about tech specialists, just I'm wondering what kind of gadgets you get and so on. So I think I'm gonna try that. Hello. Wow. This is very recognizable, actually, as being like the Mass Effect 1 level up screen where you have like 10, yeah, you have 10 to 15 points you can put into each of these different categories and that linearly upgrade some kind of stat, but then you reach like the arrows and those arrows unlock something like a special ability or something. Yeah, that was always the big deal back then. So I start off with one point into stealth. Concealment reduces the range at which enemies can spot you while moving in cover in a crash position. You can specialize in pistols, SMGs, shotguns, assault rifles, sabotage. I do like shotguns. That's always fun. So some recoil control. Mike. I, I guess his name's Mike. Mike can brace the shotgun for a knockdown shot by holding L2. The time it takes to ready a knockdown shot decreases each time you improve shotgun critical hit. Room sweep, basic. Room sweep temporarily enhances the deadliness of the shotgun, increasing the, ra the rate of fire and making every shot a critical hit knockdown shot. This ability can only be used when a shotgun's equipped. It just keeps going. Damage plus three. <clears throat> the armed and dangerous ability makes allows Mike to carry twice the normal allotment of ammo. Okay, this is way more chaotic than I thought it was. They used the visual for Mass Effect, where it's just a bunch of identical icons than an arrow periodically to say that you're upgrading some kind of skill. But all of these upgrades in between are not just continually making one stat stronger. They're like a wide variety of different effects. Okay. I can deal with shotguns, though. I like shotguns. And also on controller, it'll be easier to aim. But I'm curious what I can do with other stuff. Yeah, like hacking and sabotage? The interference ability allows Mike to tune his EMP charges to temporarily disable electronic keypads and computer systems without utterly destroying them, letting him take control of security systems with ease. Mike can even use his EMP charges to quickly get through a locked door by disabling the... <laughs> it doesn't fit. Disabling the attached alarm system and kicking his way through the door. 
If you use this ability, approach a locked door, computer system, or other object that requires the use of lock picking, electronics bypass, or computer hacking with an EMB charge in your inventory. Blah, 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 blah. There'll be a bit of a learning curve here. There's a lot going on here. How many points do I have to spend? Zero? Ah, because we're starting with this many points. So they're pre-allocated, but I can just change them right now if I want to. Technical aptitude. Medic ability. Efficacy of healing. Weapon rechambering. Customizes all Mike's weapons to store additional rounds in the chamber. Field stripping. Strip ammunition out of the gun's chamber or magazine. So you get more ammo off of enemies. Interesting. This, this is a wide spectrum of crazy-ass skill trees. I'm... It's tempting to sit here and just sit there and, like, and read them all, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's not ten, it's only nine. So nine times fifteen is a lot. What, 135 different things to read? So... I'm just gonna go with the gist of it, I think. Let's see, martial arts is probably not especially necessary because I'm using shotguns. I'm already I'm already armed for me melee range. But uh, bonus health makes sense, but technical aptitude, sabotage, shotguns, stealth. These are all definitely good. I'm not sure if I'm in a hurry to un- Let's see, break and entering reduces the difficulty of lockpicking? Yeah. Overclock, basic. When activated, overclock enhances the effect of the next offensive gadget used. The effect radius as well as the applicable stun and damage effect. I think I want to just keep things where they are now. I definitely want to pump up my stealth and stuff over time, but uh, I can accept where we are now. That sounds so much like the GoldenEye music. Down, 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 down. Yeah. Oh, they're going. Yeah, that's the aesthetic they're going for. It makes sense. All right. Let, yeah, let's be the tech guy. Let's see how it goes. Uh. Where's my next button? A is by rank. X, oh, X. Commit changes. Yeah, let's do it. Air traffic control, this is Alpha 254, requesting clearance for departure. Roger that. Start clear. Proceed to runway 5. Land in the If anyone is to blame for these events, Mr. Thornton, it is you. Alpha Protocol began here, after all. But what is Alpha Protocol? Oh, well, time for three months of context. Cold open. Free train. Ooh. These 2011 visuals are holding up pretty well so far. So, for context, I am playing the PC version on Steam, which is no longer purchasable, apparently. <laughs> if you look at the Steam page, it says 
It says that uh, it's no longer available for sale as requested by Sega. <clears throat> so titles are on. I guess they're just not on, not on for pre-rendered cutscenes. But yeah, I, I, I don't know. I haven't checked around yet. Maybe it's not available on any digital storefronts anymore. I don't know. I remember. I think I remember seeing it available on like the Xbox 360 as a download. Uh, but maybe all digital sales have been pulled, and the only way to play this game is now used disc copies and less legal means, which would be a bummer because you don't want to. You don't really want to see like Obsidian games vanishing from existence. But Sega apparently. When speaking with someone, you'll either you'll enter a timed conversation. Choose a stance. So X is suave, Y is aggressive, B is professional, or or sometimes an A action or special stance. Ooh. Suave, aggressive, and professional. We get to hear what Obsidian thinks suave means. I wasn't sure how long you'd be under. Those tranquilizers wore off fast. Unless I'm still drugged, I don't think we've met. Mina. And the static on the screen is interference, not the drugs. Too bad. Static's a good look for you. So. Thank you. If flattery is your only weapon, you'll need a gun. And fast. Well, I don't want to wear out my welcome. All the more reason to leave. And how do you propose to do that? You're locked in. There's a guard outside. Eventually, he's going to come check on you. And when he does... I'll think of something. Let me check the room. There's got to be another way out. All right, then. Don't take too long. The door's locked down. But you might be able to find a way to break the glass. All right, the moving around's looking a little weird, but we'll, we'll get into it. It's because it's, it's a shooter. And I don't currently have a gun, so it's just... I'm in action. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in adventure mode right now. In case of emergency. Whoop! Subtle I am. Uh-oh. 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 Sleeping beauty's had enough. That you might you just hold on. I'm sending some guards to tuck you back in. I'm sending some guards to tuck you back in. That's right, buddy. Can I just take out windows? With my That's a hell of a ragdoll. Let's go ahead and pump you up a little bit. A hell of a turn speed. There we go. Do you work? You do not. Left stick is crouch. B is punch. Right stick centers your camera behind the character. Break door or open door? I hate doors! Ugh! Left stick moves between circuits and A to clip a circuit. Okay, why though? Clip circuits in numerical order to bypass the panel. Okay. Clipping the wrong circuit will decrease the time left. Running out of time will trigger the alarm. Clipping all circuits will override the board. Okay. Uh. You could just hate doors. You're like you're like encouraged. Like, would you like to hate this door? If you open it very loudly. You could just opt out of stealth preemptively. I guess is that your jam? You hate all stealth. Do I have a stealth takedown? Let's find out. Yes. <laughs> Slowly built up karate chopped to the neck. Hey, a gun. I can just cheat. Or not. <laughs> there you are, Mike. Gotcha. That was not an impressive move on my part at all. Alright. We might be getting a first-hand view of what it's like to suck at using pistols. 
I do have no skill with this weapon, and I wasn't really thinking about that in the moment. And I think it fucked my hit chance royally. There we go. Second chance was better. I'm not... Hmm... It's been a decade since I played this game, so I don't remember. I was a different person. But I'm thinking already this isn't real. Why is the only gun I can use a tranquilizer weapon? Is it because it's a training mission? Where are you at, sneaky guy? Oh, I got him. <laughs> I didn't realize I got him at all. It definitely looked like I missed. Stop it! There we go. Watch out for cameras. If they spot you or you destroy them, they'll sound an alarm. I don't think I can jump over this. So I also can't destroy them. It took me one second to recognize, uh, register what she said. Because I was already getting ready to shoot it. But that always never made sense, being able to shoot cameras. Because you think people then immediately investigate the location where the camera was taken out. There is a cover system. It's A, which is a slightly weird button prompt for that. Intriguing. Intriguing. <laughs> that now I know it's a training simulation because that guy is a terrible actor. Haha, <laughs> -ha, yes, I will now and go on my patrol route and look at computer. Haha. -ha, mm, yes, intriguing. I can't fucking read. <laughs> Where the guy's at? Almost gave me the slip. Now we got you. How can I give you the slip? I'm going in a linear direction out of this place. Like there's no other paths. Left trigger to apply pressure. Right trigger to set the pin. This really is a, P uh, a console game. Trying to miss a line while straining and eventually break it. Yeah. Yep. Oh god. Yeah. Definitely a console game. Uh, mini games built around the triggers and how they uh, the, how they have non-binary inputs. Whereas almost everything on a PC is just zero and one inputs, like a, like the keyboard. Ready my stealth ability, or special ability. Overclock and awareness. Awareness reveals nearby enemies showing the location facing level of suspicion. Overclock. Overclock increases the damage or stun duration of the effect. I don't have a gadget, do I? So let's do this one. Oop. That's, that's not how you use abilities. Oh boy. Well, aren't you a handy ability to have? If I properly use stealth, then I have actual real... I mean, if I properly use cover, then I have actual stealth. Because I think otherwise my head was sticking out. Figured this guy was about to turn around and, and spot me. Ah, fuck! That was unfortunate. I pressed the wrong- I just- I, I pressed the wrong button and instantly fucked up the entire process. I completely fucked that up. Damn it. Wow. 
You're really feeling that lack of pistol skill right about now. Where you at, buddy? Do I have a run? Is it A? Yes. So the cover button's also the run button. Does he lose me? Or am I fucked? Oh. And how and how often can I use my abilities for that matter? Oh! Nope. He ladders aggressively. We're good, we're good. Hush, baby. Oh, <laughs> never mind. It doesn't forfeit your stealth. He didn't notice the thing. Ooh. Oh, that amounted. That amounted. <laughs> that amounted to jack shit. It's like I'll charge up my ability. Oh, look, it's charging. It's like, oh, I'm gonna. Like how good my aim's gonna be now. Nope. <laughs> it's not. Whoa. Find two passwords hidden in the data stream. Okay. Left stick and right stick move the, uh, the sequences at the top. Um. I'm confused. A little bit. Match the top password with its twin. Lock in the left and okay. You mean literally move the ones at the top? Uh, this one's a little visual chaotic, chaos, chaotic. -y. Eh, 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 eh. eh, okay. Got it. It mostly just amounts to spotting the parts of the screen that aren't moving, and then telling which of the two things it was. That's not so bad. What's that? $2,500? Alright, Mike, that's enough. That's enough? I think that's my line. What the hell's going on? Why did you drug me? We need to get the location of this facility confidential. Especially if you got kidnapped and questioned. You could use some lessons in hospitality. I'll forgive you this time. Gracious of you. So this is how the conversation is going to go. You, me, video screen. Yep. I'm going to ask you some questions, run you through some more tests. Then you and I can talk face to face. I make you feel better? No, but some morphine might. Or whatever cocktail you shot into my system. What the hell was that? That's classified. Although I didn't expect you to shake it off so quickly. I've been reading and rereading your dossier. Says here you were the guinea pig of the division. A walking scientific survey of counter-terrorist devices. I tested several prototypes in the field, yes. The new iteration of shock traps was due to feedback I provided. So you're why the 1.2 is a piece of junk? No, sir. I'm why the 1.2 was cancelled. My report is the reason 1.3 went into production in April. Hmm. Well, you and Doxy shouldn't have much time to spend together with the tech training then. If you gain more experience in the field, you may want to specialize further. But we can leave that until you've got some missions under your belt. That's it. Now I'm going to let you out of the pen here, and meet the rest of the crew. I'd prefer an assignment, not a meet and greet. How about you earn it first? And that means following orders, got it? The rest of the crew will take it from here. They'll be running you through the basics of weapons, gadgets, and espionage tactics. When you're cleared on the basics, come find me for your assignment. I won't lie to you, Mike. It's a big one, and dangerous. But I think you're the man for the job. Make the rounds. I'll see you soon. Anyone ever told you how incredibly off-putting it is when you walk towards the camera like that, sir? Because Jesus Christ. He's gonna get me. 
All right, so yeah, it, there's definitely some of that. I'm not sure what my choices are going to sound like moments throughout. We get used to it a bit. I have, I have 10 points to spend. Damn. So I think according on top of other things, certain things cost less for me to level up because of my background. So it's easy for me to level up sabotage and technical aptitude, but it's actually kind of hard for me to upgrade my stealth. So have to see about that. More ammo could be good. Weapon balancing. Improved data theft increases the value of stolen files in a successful hack by 50%. Nice. That could be good money. Directional blast explosions. And you just straight up can't get to the, the next like middle chunk yet. Perks, suave, reduced cooldown, all abilities. You've shown your suave side in your earliest conversations. Reduced cooldown on all abilities. So you decided your per you decided a trait of your character in some dialogue. My pistol accuracy is very bad. So I was I was wrong in the idea that it's a training mission. It was more like it was I don't know how to put it actually. I guess I was kidnapped, but I knew I was joining this group in the first place. So like they got me, but they drugged me to just to make the location a secret and I fought my way out. They like warned me like they knew it was going to One of them warned me like they knew it was going to happen, but also they all knew it was going to happen. I guess, so I guess the explanation was less that I used that gun because it was the one for the training mission and more that my character knew that these were his like future co-workers that he was gunning down so he used a tranquilizer weapon it's a it's a it's a lot to unpack there's a bit to unpack here about what we're getting into here awareness basic I already had awareness. That's slightly confusing. Maybe remove rank of sabotage for now. That gives me seven. I can try to make my stealth a little bit better. Whoa. If you get to stealth five, you just always have the locations of your enemies known, which is incredibly useful. Panic button for sneaking. Silent running. Interesting. Yeah, let's just get a let's just get a couple points in technical aptitude and sabotage. So I'll get I'll get some more ammo, I'll be able to make shaped charges and get more rewards for my hacking. And we'll see where it goes from there. It's a bit much, isn't it? <laughs> like, realistically, what is half of this even showing? Two, some of them are just the same screens repeating. Whenever I see a wall of screens like this, I'm always like, who is this for? This guy's just flexing on us. He wants us to think that that we're, uh... That he's Ozymandias. No weapons past this point. Okay. I guess kind of going to cut my, hand, my arms off. They were watching all along. Be expected. Areas off limits. Use your PDA if you turned around. I've got a map. Use the locker to change appearance. After using the locker, proceed to the orientation to return to the integrity of the day. Customize facial hair. How did that? How did they fit that in the? Uh, wait, what? Oh, I guess I read facial, facial and hair or something. It's a pretty strong customization you got there. It's like fundamentally changed what he looks like. 
Yeah, the buzz cut I'm done with. Yeah. The Nathan Drake looks chunky and weird. Layered and disheveled. This one looks less weird than the other ones do. Wait, did you just give me a different face? No, it just took a moment to load. <laughs> when it loads the new texture, it gets really chunky for a second there, and so I briefly thought they gave me a completely different face somehow. What hair is that supposed to look good with? Lumberjack. Let's check. I guess, eh. Probably the two that have more hair in general, I guess. Or maybe that one, I don't know. It looks real odd. <laughs> you can have this, your, your super villain circled. This, this fucking circle beard. Alright, that sidesteps some of the bad looking hair real quickly. The hooligan cap. Oh, there's a lot of options here. Half rim glasses, rimless spectacles, wraps. Are any of them glasses glasses or are they all sunglasses? If you have any issues with, like, dead eyes, that'll help cover that up real quickly. Orientation's not mandatory. You can turn around and go back to Westridge right now. Although that might make him upset. Orientation is not mandatory, but it might piss everyone off. Our war does not end here. This target is not the last. With our will and our resolve, Al Samad shall continue these attacks, fight the aggression of the West with its own weapons. Yes. I thought it was done. You might want to take it a little easier when you escape next time. No. I'm now hacking your system. This is ethical and legal. Boop. There we go. Bit of a low scr uh, slow scroll, but you get there eventually. Medical facility off limits. Staff, the medical bay is off limits until further notice. In the event of an emergency, notify your supervisor. That was me! It was off limits for me. Sit rep Al Samad. Attention. Regarding the parcel, buyer. Uh, regarding the bar the, re regarding the parcel, buyer is confirmed at a, as an agent of Al Samad. Seller appears to be operating under the name Nasri. Recommending follow up on Nasri to determine source of funding. Missile technology. Forensics teams have completed survey of the suspected firing location as predicted by triangulation methods. Good news, evidence of a ground-launched missile would have had to have been a, a guided missile. No way an unguided rocket could have hit the airliner at that altitude. Has been confirmed by discarded sabot and particulate matter, both of which were fired with 99% certainty when f uh, Flight 6133 was shot down. Bad news, the missile sabot matches... Uh, no. The missile sap. I keep- I'm stumbling on that word because I'm just not used to it at all. So it's the- because I keep thinking like it's a, it's a missile that someone named Sabot is matching or something. So the missile Sabo matches no known ground-to-air missile systems. None. There's no discernible markings, no telltale des design marks. Sizing and composition make it a sure bet for a NATO-built weapon. But beyond that, we can't- we can't place it. It's almost certain that this is some sort of new generation tech. It's a guided what? It's a guided missile that took down that plane in the intro. They're following up on that. New member. 
Attention, we have new fish coming on board tomorrow. You refer to him as Michael Thornton. Mr. Thornton is most recently from the DOJ's National Security Division. He has dual PhDs in linguistics and computer science, speaks a, a nearly a dozen languages, and is generally considered too intelligent for civil service. The director of the DOJ recommended him for transfer on account of his physical aptitude and the fact that he was bored out of his mind hiding behind a desk all day. He made a mockery of all of our pre-screening exams, so I'm looking forward to seeing what, you, what he'll add to our team. He'll be put through opening ceremony tomorrow, complete with the hostage scenario and obligatory psych games. Assuming all goes well, we'll be, he'll be on our short list for Desert Spear, Westridge. So that's just fucking normal, apparently. What just happened? The usual set setup. RE needs some info. From A. Parker to Sean Darcy. I've run the names you sent me, and found 17 out of the 18 to have merely circumstantial links. But there was one element of interest. Skip Baxter, the GOP lobbyist on the list. I found an interesting money trail on him. He collected re-election funds from 16 different corporations, 87.5% were within federal election limits, the remainder were beyond the 2300 limit in place and time, and pulled them into the True Leadership PAC fund. However, a check of the exact amount of money Baxter put in the TLPAC fund uh, went out on a check numbered 1016 and mementoed restoration. The check was buried internally. But I found the cash check in the records of the bank in Saudi Arabia ca cashed by Nigel Winthrop. While there are 193 Nigel Winthrops in Interpol's database, that name is known is known alias of Shahid. I will inform Westridge. Oh, that's a response. Shit, I should have started down there then. It's uh, they said they said Parkmeister. I need you to run some fact finding sweeps for me. I have some names I need to follow up on. Homework, social security digits, the usual rundown. See the attachment for names and leads. So they're sent after that. This is from Sean Darcy to Mina Tang. That shirt l looks becoming on you. Hey Mina, I guess you didn't get in my email from the other day. No big deal. Maybe you can do a we can do dinner tonight? I know the mess hall isn't exactly fine dining, but it's not like we can take a ride down the street for ex exquisite French cuisine. And who says cafeteria food can't be romantic? I'll save our ketchup packets and frame them for when our grandkids ask about how we met. Sean D. Sean? Really, Sean, I'm just not interested. The whole mention of grandkids is just a little bit creepy. Perhaps I can ask Westridge what he thinks about your constant attempts at team building, Mina. Fuck. He went so far beyond what was okay that I thought this was like some kind of elaborate joke that they keep riff like, like they keep iterating on, but no, it's just be him being fucking creepy. All right, so Sean's fucking creepy. Keep that in the back of our mind. Candy sweets. Ah uh, yes, official government spy food. Hyper hyper sweetie. Is that ice cream or, or coffee? And then just candy sweets! How is coffee... I guess that must be ice cream. It must be a cup of ice cream, that like, like a, a haagen that just falls out of the bottom or something. Because this is not a drink dispensing vending machine. Not one that... not an open cup one, like for coffee. Danger. Firing range in use. Only authorized personnel, blah 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 blah. So that is weapons. Espionage. What do you got over here? Gadget orientation. I mean, that's my thing. Let's learn how my thing goes. Mikey, be with you in a moment. I'm just setting some things up here. I'm Sean Darcy. I'm going to be running you through tech orientation. Sounds good. So you've been with Alpha Protocol for a while? Sure have. Although you seem to have gotten my next assignment. No hard feelings, I hope. Are you kidding? Alright, that should be the last of the setup on my end. I'm glad you finally showed up. Thought you might have gotten lost on the way here. Or were too busy beating up some more guards. Neither. Just surveying the area, actually. Checking out the facility. Yeah, sure. 
Oh, by the way, not a good idea. Hitting the guards, I mean. The ones here have a lot of time on their hands, and that means a lot of time to hold grudges. I'll keep that in mind, but I wasn't expecting to be drugged and attacked. A good agent's ready for anything, Mikey. But enough chit-chat. We got a lot of work ahead of us. Well, you do. I'm mostly here as an observer. I'll be doing your evaluation, too. What's that out there? A used car lot? A target range for you. For me, more like a shooting gallery. Head out the door there and we'll get started. All right, then. What's the difference between a target range and a... A target range and a shooting gallery? Aren't they the same thing? Ah. How did I get here? Okay. Is it a red bumper? Sup? What? What? Did it immediately come flying out? There we go, this time I can do it. That was weird. The first one seemed to come out when I started aiming as opposed to when I- They stick. This takes some practice. <laughs> Did I just make this playthrough very funny by specializing in these? Now about something more challenging. Try a ricochet to hit the target behind the wall. Lob it behind the target. Use the wall for a hook shot. I do. I'm amused by the idea of me just throwing grenades the entire playthrough. Not what I thought gadget specialist would mean. Maybe I get something really cool and weird later. Want to be indoors with that kind of explosion? EMP charge. There we are. <laughs> I really thought it was going to be a thing you plant on the wall, but it's also just a grenade. So you gotta aim it. <laughs> Did I even do it right? I don't know. I keep thinking I have things you can plant. Or did I like not equip it correctly? Oh, I used up my only one, so I probably did. I ran out of it at that point. That second one was just a grenade. There we go. Yeah, I, d I discovered this one on accident earlier. Am I, am I being timed right now? Shock trap. Nice and just in time. Hey, Darcy, open up. Some of the other guards will be pulling double shifts for a while. We're just being so mean to these people. Of course, I would just walk directly into the fucking guy that was creepy on the computer. In fact, he's the guy that specializes in what I specialize in. Damn it, I'm trying to put them on walls. It only works if you hold it down. Do -do 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 -do. I used the wrong one, didn't I? 
No. Skills, weapons, gadgets. Sound generator. I guess that's all I have left is sound generators. So, Mikey, you did all right on the basic run. Just assaulted the hell out of everybody. Bonus, and what I got. Oh, wait, no, it's just. Oh, it's a score assigned for each one. So I took 84 seconds, which gives me 80, 75 points somehow. Took down four guys for 200 points. Got a bonus of 15 for reasons. You know, that okay. performance wasn't half bad. Almost as good as my record. How about we up the stakes? Take this to the big leagues. What do you have in mind? All right, me and the guards, who you already met when you woke up, pooled our petty cash. And we'd like to make you a little bet. All right, I'm listening. It's a rematch, on our terms. It's simple. Disable all the alarms and escape the area in the time provided. And you take on the winnings. If you lose, you'll owe us. Got it? Sounds good to me. Just head into the range and we'll get to it, Mikey. All right, then. Tell your team to get ready. So here we are. Rem It'll be easy. I'm just bordering on incompetent at this game, so I'm just ready to win this. Uh, do I have any service record? Uh, that's where I spend points, but I don't have enough yet. Gotcha. Intel. There's a lot going on there. Don't have much I can put on yet. Yeah, I don't even have weapons at the moment. All right, let's see if I if I can stumble through this again, but faster this time. When the guards, but on their terms. So listen up. There's alarms hidden all over the course. All you need to do is shut them down. But the guards are gonna try and reset them. Every time an alarm goes off, another squad's coming in, and they all want a shot at you. Trust me. Alarm goes off enough times, and you're gonna get trampled. But you have the technology to beat them, so let's see even the odds, if you can. I can try. Radio mimic shock trap. Where are we going? This way? Ha! 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 He just took himself out, I think. Where are the traps from earlier still here? Uh -huh. Uh, press this button, deactivate. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I think the traps I set last time are still here, which is hilarious to me. Yep. He just shot his friend! I think they even, like, bled everywhere. Oh, that one. Apparently. Uh... I don't know. That's no, just healing. Is that still on? What? I'm confused by this mission a little bit. Uh... Did it did it did it did it. Oh, it's just the same room over and over again, apparently. Trying to get back to the medical bay. Another one? Uh-huh. Do 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 do. Yeah. Did I win? Head on up and I'll call someone in to clean up the course. What? And the bodies. I thought I had to like work my way through a map. In a good way. That's all I need. See you in the field, Darcy. If you say so, Mikey. 
Uh, I think something might have glitched. Or I lost track of something. I think there were supposed to be three different alarms. But I alarmed- I disarmed one of them twice. But they also never reached again. Like, they said they are gonna re-enable the alarms, but it was just on again on its own. And I think I disabled the same one twice. But no one ever actually, like, reached it again in the meantime. That was a little weird. I was curious if, like, new emails came in over time. Not that there's been a lot of time so far. So that was 150 experience. How much do you need to level up? So that was like 150. You need 3,200 to level up. So it's like, it's up there. But it's it's helpful. It's progress. And then yeah, they gave me, what, 20 grand? So I got 20 grand from that, and I got 2,500 from that briefcase I stole on my way through, which I stole from my employers, which is pretty... That's pretty funny, actually. <laughs> Alright, well... So begins Alpha Protocol, guys. Uh, we'll finish training next episode and, ho and probably find our way into a, a proper mission. It seems like training's worth doing, because I think we're gonna get our chance to meet the various members of the team. Like, the creepy guy that just hits on people and talks about having kids with them, which is... a lot. Mm -hmm.